This has become the only way out of some of Serbia's flood-affected areas. Down on the ground, people are doing what they can to deal with the deluge. It's a thankless task, and they know there's a chance it may all be in vain. Many areas have already succumbed. Overflowing rivers have inundated roads, cut off power, and caused hundreds of landslides. Serbia has declared a state of emergency and asked for international help. The situation's at least as bad in neighboring Bosnia. The floods cut off this town, Maglai, for three days. Help has now arrived, and not a moment too soon. The water had reached the second floor of many buildings. Landslides may now be the biggest hazard. They've caused at least two deaths and wiped out dozens of homes. A catastrophe. When we saw the first two houses start to slide down, when the place started disappearing, you know, we could do nothing but cry. This morning, my house, everything, it's all gone. But I saved my disabled daughter and my wife, so it doesn't matter. Landmines are another worry. The long-buried remnants of Bosnia's conflict may come to the surface following the floods, an extra hazard people here could do without. Guy Delaunay, BBC News, Belgrade.